Blessings, Castle View community. Brenda here. Today, I want to share with you a small devotional that I've titled, When You Feel Afraid. And I'm going to be reading Deuteronomy chapter 31, verses 7 and 8. But before I do a little bit about the story, Moses is 120 years old and he is giving his last counsel to the Israelites and to his assistant, Joshua. Uh, verse 7 says, Then Moses called to Joshua and said to him, In the sight of all the people of Israel, Be strong and courageous, for you will go with these people into the land which the Lord has sworn to their fathers to give them and you will give it to them as an inheritance verse 8 it is the Lord who goes before you he will be with you he will not fail you or abandon you do not fear or be dismayed so reading this Moses is 120 he dies and now Joshua his assistant is no longer an assistant but now the leader with this huge task to take the Israelites to the promised land and I believe Joshua was afraid when that moment came I know I would have been afraid I would have been scared um, I would have felt not qualified to do it um, I would have probably said no um, but you see when we allow fear to control our lives or to control our decision-making um, we know that that's not from God. Um, 2 Timothy uh, chapter 1, verse 7, it uh, tells us that God has not given us a spirit of fear. He has given us a spirit of power and of love and of a good mind. I believe fear doesn't mean that we are cowards. Um, it only means that we need to be willing to feel that fear and do what we need to do anyways, just like Joshua did. Um, even though he was scared, um, even though he was probably afraid, he took the Israelites to the promised land. He walked forward into his calling and purpose. So today, if you are experiencing fear or you're going through a hard situation or circumstance, if you are afraid, I want to read verse 8 again. Um, it is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or abandon you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Amen. I hope uh, this was a blessing to your life and I'll see you next time.